How can you get around the size limitations at speed when you talk to your LLMs? When you have a large context window and you try to fit it into your prompt, that's always been a challenge. I'm Sebastian Lex, I'm AI21 Solutions Architect, and I'm gonna show you in just a few steps how you can take your concept using Jamba and Amazon Bedrock all the way to your production. We're gonna start with Jamba, the core of our technology, to show you how you can utilize Jamba and Amazon Bedrock to very quickly address the shortcomings that you have with the larger context window. And here we have a Jamba, the model on our website. You can very quickly look up the information, the benchmarks. And I'm gonna walk through how you find our model on Amazon Bedrock. You can essentially list all the base models. Here's Jamba, and it's listed with all of its properties. The key of the property that we're looking for is really the large context window of 256K tokens. And that's really what gives you the power to be able to send large document all at once in a single prompt. Here, there are a couple models listed. There's Java 1.5 Large and Java 1.5 Mini. You can choose it based on your use case. The differentiator is with Mini, you're trading off some of the complex reasoning for speed. With Large, obviously, you can, you can dig deeper into your data at the cost of, of some latency and obviously cost. And I'm going to use our sample notebook. We have a set of industry samples that we've curated on GitHub. You can access those, you can download the whole repository and see all of the samples. I'm gonna use one of the samples for question answering. This is a very common use case, especially in finance, where you have a document and you wanna ask questions to interrogate that document. So I'm gonna run through this demo in my own environment to show you how easy it is to take it from the GitHub repository all the way to running example. So I'm using here a Python notebook and the first thing I'm doing is I'm importing bottle three. I want to use the Amazon's SDK because I want everything to essentially be in interacting within the Amazon ecosystem. I have also a method to be able to read the file. Here's where you have an option. Instead of reading a file like I have in a text, fo text format, you can pull it from your database or from other sources where you store your information. I also have a method here for calling Amazon Bedrock. And here I'm using again Bottle3 client. So this is a standard way of interacting with Amazon services. And I'm structuring our body of message to be able to include the prompt as well as some of the parameters I need to instruct how the model should respond. For the prompt, I'm sending a one single large prompt. So think about collecting all of the information you need as a context. In my case, this large 10K filing document. And I'm gonna use a template that I, I created to essentially collect both my question and the context in a single prompt. I'm also de this describing how many tokens I'm expecting as an output. This is a very short sentence that I'm expecting to output. So I have a short window for actually getting a response. And also I'm setting a temperature. I want it, I want it fairly low. I don't want to really introduce uh, additional variations or I don't want to introduce a lot of uh, unnecessary wording. I want really just the answer to my question. I'm also naming the model I'm using. In my case, I'm starting with Jamba 1.5 large. Again, going back to Amazon Bedrock, you can list all the models available and you can pick the one that suits your use case. And I'm setting up essentially this set of parameters to send it to Amazon Bedrock. I also have a method to call Jamba with retries, just in case something fails, I can uh, re replay the transaction and get the right output. So all of that is setting me up for really asking the question. And here I have a template, I have a question, what was Amazon's revenue generating activity in 2019? And this is what the users would normally ask. In a financial analyst environment, the user would ask these questions in an interrogate set of documents. Again, in my case, I have a one 10K filing from Amazon, and I have a template for the prompt. So the prompt is structured first with a, with a role, so you are an excellent research assistant, and I have an instruction for the prompt based on the following document, and I'm gonna present the whole document all at once. Tell me, the answer to the, to, the, uh, to the question, I'll just say, I don't know. And in my case, I'm inserting the whole document. And again, here's the power of Jamba and being able to accept up to 256K tokens all in one go. So I'm creating this template here. And then in one, one shot, I'm actually sending that prompt to Amazon Bedrock, which uses Jamba to produce the answer. I'm expecting this to, to come back to me within a few seconds. This is quite a large document. Um, I, I think uh, when I looked at it, it was over 500 pages. So you do see a difference in sending large amount of data versus a, a smaller, uh, smaller prompt. And here's it, here it is, I have a response. Amazon's revenue generating activities included retail sales, third-party seller services, and so on. 
So here, very quickly, we walk through being able to structure a call, call Amazon Bedrock, use Jamba to actually accept a large document size, and then produce a response within a few seconds. So here's what I showed you, how to overcome the large context window challenge, and how to very quickly go from a concept all the way to a working solution. With just our samples and Amazon Bedrock, within minutes, you can get up and running. So what's critical is here, you have an opportunity to introduce a large amount of data in one shot and get reliable results. What I recommend to start next is take a look at our samples, pull down the repository, and experiment with Amazon Bedrock. Darko, hurry yourself, pick one. <laughs> All right. And if you have enjoyed, and if you've enjoyed Sebastian's video about context sizes, make sure to like this video. For more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.